नमस्कार टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई आई हैव रिसीव्ड अ मैसेज फ्रॉम वन ऑफ आवर डिवोटिस गुरु जी सुप्रभात हम मिसिंग यू बैडली फीलिंग वेरी रेस्टलेस अगेन दो आई एम ट्राइंग नॉट टू बट स्टिल प्लीज होल्ड मी बैक आई नो यू आर डूइंग बट समहाउ ऑल माय गैदर्ड होप्स एंड स्ट्रेंग्स आर वीकनिंग अगेन You won't miss me if you love my soul. If you love my body, you are going to terribly miss me. Not seeing me for a few days, not talking to me for a few days. If I don't appear on the video every day, you will start missing me. because there is some problem for you the problem is you are attached more to my external appearance and not to my inner you are more attached to my outer if you love the soul you will not the per- miss the person even after death even if a person dies you will not miss because you love the soul the soul is always with you the body may not be there because that body needs to be disposed of it cannot remain forever that's why symbolically when very great masters live they will have one samadhi because most of us are more in the we we have seen in physics we have seen his physics we have seen how physically he is so we go to the samadhi and once again the same nonsense continues <laughs> we have a vicarious feeling by seeing the samadhi okay he is there physically yeah the master is there always always physically the master is there he is available physically he is available metaphysically in whichever way you want yes but saying that you miss the master is where the problem comes the master may be in the forest the master may be traveling the master will be driving his car and traveling all the way from south back to hyderabad If you love his soul, you will never miss him. Absolutely, there will be no necessity for you to miss him at all. You have a photograph, you have a video. All these things are more symbolic. You must rise to the level of metaphysical. Some day this physics is going to get extinguished. It's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. It will not be there. Then what are you going to do? Of course, the photographs are there, the videos are there. Nowadays we have these advantages. We have a samadhi also. We can go there also. But the master is always there with you. He is in the inner. I am more seated inside your heart. You are not looking at me from your heart. You are looking at me from your mind. That is the problem. Mind is attached to the physics. Heart is attached to the inner. So move from the mind to heart. That is love. we most of the time in, even among lovers i miss you you miss me all these things because it's more the physics they are concentrated is not they are not metaphysical if you are metaphysical yes you don't need all this you won't miss there is nothing like missing at all person is always there that is why when in love let go is there no problem 
Because the lover is a very mature lover, he loves her metaphysically, not merely the physic. So the hurting is not going to happen. The other day, Maunika Madhula was asking us that question, will it not hurt? Why will it hurt? When it is not a physical relationship and the, the relationship is metaphysical, why will it hurt? That's why the let go factor, it's not going to be really a matter because we love the soul, not the body, no. You don't love the body. If you love the body, yes, naturally that's going to be a very big problem. Throughout the life you will be crying, crying, crying. That's all. How long you can cry? Suppose somebody's mother has gone, father has gone, how long you will be crying? Go for five days, ten days. After that you don't remember also most of the time. Somewhere here and there something happens, you will quote that person. That's all. Is it not? But a person who loves metaphysically will always remember. The physical love exists for some time, then you will forget the person. How many times you really remember, very close, kin and kin, somebody goes, yes, the initial 5 days, 10 days, 15 days, 1 month will be there, later, that's all. In fact, after a few years, you don't remember him or her at all. But when you love them metaphysically, they are always with you. And it is the heart that matters and not the mind. So, you have to move from the mind to the heart, not to miss the person. Then you will be strong, you won't be weak. You are weak because it is from the mind, not from the heart. <laughs> When it is from the heart, yes, heart is always very powerful, very powerful. I will tell you a story from Israel. The girl told the boy, will you do anything for me? Yes, no problem, I will do anything for you. Then she said, can you get your mother's heart? Today evening itself I want it. Can you do it? She asked. The boy was very madly in love with her and so he killed the mother. And he removed the heart. And he was running and coming because evening time, before evening he has to surrender the heart to her. He was, he was running and coming. Then he heard a voice. Hey, don't run so fast, run slow. You should not get yourself hurt. He was stunned. The heart was speaking. <laughs> that is mother's heart. <laughs> the mother's heart is always superior. At least as far as the son or the daughter is concerned. <laughs> May not be superior for others. That is a different question. <laughs> it's totally different. <laughs> Is the mother's heart superior for others? It's totally a different question. <laughs> the heart itself is speaking. It says, don't run very fast. You may fall down, you may hurt yourself. Like that. The heart should speak, not the mind. Most of the time the problem with you people is the mind is speaking, not the heart. So you miss the person. Otherwise you will never miss the person. So metaphysically you must love the person. Can you love the person metaphysically? So that you will not miss. Physically loving the person is always there. Is it not? Huh? Physically loving the person is always there. That is not a very high form of love. It's a very normal. It's a mediocre love. It's in fact very mediocre. But metaphysically loving the person is something very big. Can you do it? In order not to miss the person. <laughs> Hurting will not be there. Even let go is there. Even if she goes or he goes. Since you are metaphysically loving the person, hurting will not be there. There is no hurt at all. <laughs> in fact, you are very glad. <laughs> because you are obliged. You are not a drag on her.
You are not a dragon. When you cling on to her, it's a drag. You don't have any freedom at all. In such a love, it's very dragging. But if it is metaphysical, it will be very beautiful. It will not be a drag. Absolutely. No question of drag at all. Where is the question of drag? Question of drag doesn't arise. It will be love with freedom. Anytime she can walk in, anytime she can walk out. You see. If she walks back also, you will incidentally say that I'm out. If she starts, no. You need not apology. In the first place, I was not hurt for you to for me to accept your apology. See, suppose I was hurt, then I must listen to you, I should accept that apology. I need not accept that apology at all. Where is the question of apology when it is metaphysical? The question of matter in a metaphysical relationship, there is no question of any apology. The apology comes only in case of a physical relationship or a relationship from the mind. There you have to give all explanation, you have to say sorry, this happened, that happened, all the explanation, why you did like that, this, that, 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 blah, 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 blah. But in a metaphysical relationship, there is no question of any apology. You can come in any time, you can go any time. Freedom. Love means freedom. Similarly, my relationship with you is metaphysical. But your relationship with me looks like it is from the mind. <laughs> I never miss you. Because my relationship is metaphysical. It's not from the mind. Since it is from the mind, you are missing me. So please move from the mind to the heart. In my case, I will do anything for you. But in your case, probably you may think a little bit before doing. Suddenly, because it is from the mind, mind means calculation, mind means manipulation. Mind always manipulates, mind always calculates, it's a mathematician. So the mind will always think, if I do this, if I do that, what happens, what happens, what happens, what happens. In a metaphysical relationship, when it is from the heart, it doesn't think of any pros or consequences. It will simply do it. So, please move from the mind to the heart. I hope you understand. <laughs> See you some other time. Thank you.